Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and the other day I was out inspecting my hives and found one hive that was killed by the uh, by wax moss. Okay, now wax moss generally ain't gonna kill a hive, but they will kill a weakened hive. And I moved them; they were aggressive. I moved them back. Um, the neighbors sprayed some pesticides, several contributing factors, and weakened the hive significantly. And then I had some wax moss move in. And uh, this one's not so bad, but you can see it's got, you know, the comb. But they're starting to move in and, and eat through here, okay? And I went through them. You know, like this one, it's bad. So I'm just going to cut this whole thing out and remelt it and melt the wax. And the vast majority of them, you know... I'm not going to take the chance. I'm just going to remelt the wax. But I've got um, about eight frames in the freezer, freezing one method, and I'm about to cut away into that. But uh, then I got about eight for well, this is seven frames, so almost a full box here. And the rest of them are all frames I'm going to melt down. So out of a hive with four eight frame supers on it, I only really salvaged um, two, almost two boxes. The rest of the frames are going to have to be cut down and remelted. Another thing I want to mention, these uh, wax moths leave some pheromones. And so my boxes and the frames and the frames after I cut the wax out, um, I don't want to just reuse that stuff without doing something to kill the pheromone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a 10% bleach solution and wash all my wooden wear before I reuse it. And I'm going to do that off camera because the wife has this rule about me and bleach. So uh, since I'm going to be wearing some nasty stuff, I'm not going to show you that on camera. But anyway, there you go. All right, here's my basement bee uh, freezer. This is one way of killing the wax moss is freezing the frames. Um, for, you know, on the internet it'll say a couple days, but our state apiarist was at a class the other day and he was telling us that it could take significantly longer, you know, 10 days, 15 days or so, uh, just depending on the temperature. But I just took all the frames out, and half of them I put in the freezer, and the other half I'm going to show you another method of, of killing the wax moss. But uh, if it's real bad, you just want to go ahead and cut the whole thing out and restart fresh. You know, this one's probably borderline because it's just got a little bit of wax moth stuff in here. But you want to put these back in a real strong hive, or, you know, this one's got a whole lot on there. You know, I'd probably just cut this whole thing out and just remelt it. So besides freezing, the other way is to um, use moth crystals. Okay? And I really don't like this way as much as the... As the uh, freezing the, the frames because this can kill the bees too but this isn't bad for storing um, throughout the year okay but you want to make sure your moth crystals have uh, PDB in them or para dichlorobenzene para dichlorobenzene in it and this is 99% um, PDB para dichlorobenzene alright and all we're going to do all right, so I've got a garbage bag, contractor grade garbage bag, folded out. I've got a Ziploc bag with holes cut in it, fill up with my uh, moth crystals. I'm just going to take my frame, my whole box with the frames in there, put it in the garbage bag. Lay my crystals in there. And I'm going to tie it up and put that in a nice safe place where my wife won't think it's garbage and uh, throw it out. And I'll just let it sit there for, uh, I don't know, about a month or so. And then I'll let it air out um, for a couple weeks or so before I put it back in the hive. Pretty much, it's it's mid season, so I'm pr pretty much just going to leave it this way, you know, till next year. And I'll take it out and check it 
when I put everything else up for the season. But anyway, two ways of doing it. Until next time, you can always catch online, www.tngun.com.